Hey guys, before watching the video, I just want to remind you that I started my own website called kidandroidrh.com. The link will be in my description box below and more recently, I changed the overall look and feel of the website. Now I just want to request you that please visit it and tell me your feedback about the overall user experience of it. Please. It's very kid Android here. So, before the ban, Huawei was dominating the Chinese smartphone market, which is no doubt one of the biggest smartphone market around the globe. And then Huawei got banned, and Apple took its position along with the big other companies like Oppo and Vivo. But now it seems a strange thing is happening in the Chinese market, and that's a good news for Huawei. So yeah, it seems Huawei has once again reclaimed a major growth in the Chinese smartphone market despite having no 5G in its smartphones, no Google services, even they have lost current chipsets and still relying on Snapdragon instead. Guys just think a company lost everything in this span and still it started showing a major growth in the same market. So yeah. According to the data compiled by the CounterPoint research, Huawei has achieved 15% of year-over-year -year growth in the fourth quarter of 2022 as compared to the same quarter in 2021. Well, this is a major difference guys. We could assume that the latest progress is made with the release of the Huawei's Mate 50 series in October. Thereafter, Huawei customers supported the sales volume to a new milestone. Well, Huawei has recovered from its low base in 2021, increasing by 15% year-over-year in the quarter 4. However, the brand is still unable to ship 5G-enabled devices, which is a major concern for its sales outlook. And this is basically wrote by CounterPoint itself. So yeah, I will say one thing is certain for this year is that Huawei will reclaim its position in China. Because this year in 2023, Huawei is planning to launch a number of new smartphones and it'll return to the dual flagship unveiling tradition. This means we would see the Huawei's P series and Mate series of devices in a single year. But the launches could further help Huawei to increase its growth in the share among Chinese consumers to rank better in the quarter 2 of 2023 smartphone market results. However, coming to the overall sales, like combining all the big companies' sales in China, the market declined 14% year-over-year in 2022, which is counted as the slowest smartphone growth in the last decade. It's also the fifth year that China recorded continued to decline, and the reason could be COVID. So let's hope for the best as Huawei started showing significant growth in the market and it might achieve a new milestone this year. So yeah, what do you think about it? Well, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.